guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to bake your face. Everyone and their mother has been into baking like you wouldn't even believe. And in a lot of my tutorials I bake, and in a lot of my tutorials I never really explain how to bake. And I've been getting a lot of comments saying like, can you do a more in-depth video on how to bake? And when I went to college, like all my sorority sisters would always say like, you need to teach me how to bake. So I thought that this would be a very good video for everyone. Um, and also, it's just sort of a fun technique to learn, and there's a lot of ways to do it. So this is just the way I do it. It works best for me. It might not work best for you. But, you know, try it out. See if you like it. And as always, like, tweet me pics. Tweet me um, how it works out for you guys. Comment on my Instagram how it works for you guys, because it's really funny seeing baking pictures. like my favorite thing ever. If you guys are like my girls and my guys, this video might bore you a little bit, because you guys know how to be a face already and you guys know, you know, what it takes to bake and, you know, everything like that. So if you've already clicked on this video, that just means you're such a homie and I love you. So if you watch it, you're just like the best ever. But if you don't, it's fine because I get it. You know, you know how to do this already. But I'm talking to those of you who don't really know how to bake or they're loyal subs of mine and they want to learn how to bake because I sort of just fly through it in all my videos. So I kind of feel bad about that. Sorry. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm uploading a ton of content and you guys won't want to miss it. I'm doing a lot of basic stuff and I'm also going to be doing a lot of my glam upbeat tutorials that I know you guys all love. So I'm going to have a good mix of everything in there so be sure to subscribe. So if you guys want to learn how to bake your face then keep on watching. All that I have on my face right now to begin is a little bit of the Urban Decay Skin Perfector one and done and then I also threw on a little bit of concealer on my under eyes bridge of my nose, forehead, right above my lip, and on my chin. And for that, I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in medium and the brightening one because I want it to be a little brighter. So now, this is all that I've done. Obviously, my brows and eyes are done, but we're talking about the face here. So now that that's on, let's get to the real point of this video, which is the bake. I have used so many powders, and by far, like, if you're going to bake, this is definitely the powder that you should get. It's the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to leave a link to it down below. Seriously guys, go check it out. I think it's like $12 and it's like this big thing. Kind of looks like Parmesan cheese a little bit. The best part, which is the most annoying thing about baking, but this powder doesn't do, is that this does not give you flashback. I repeat, this does not give you flashback. So to apply my bake, I use a dry beauty blender. I have used wet and dry, and dry by far is the best because when it's wet, yeah, it kind of sinks it in a little bit deeper, but if you let it bake when it's dry, it's going to do the same thing. But also when it's wet and you apply it, for me anyway, it just sort of clumps up and it makes my under eyes so dry. Like I literally feel like my eyes, like I can't move them because they are so dry. So before you bake, you want to make sure that you aren't creasing because if you crease and then you bake with the creasing underneath your eyes, it's going to bake in the crease. So what's actually going to happen, it's not going to fix it, it's going to enhance it and it's going to keep that crease line all day long. So you don't want that. So you want to make sure that you have no crease lines. And then you're going to go in with the powder. So I like to dump mine over like that and then dump it back. And then since I'm the only one using this powder, um, I get kind of gross and I just <laughs> dip it in there like that and then I kind of swirl it around. There we go, till it's nice and coated. There it is. So what I like to do is I like to begin on the very inner corner. See how when I press down just like that, how much product comes, that's incredible, amazing. I like to press down and then I kind of work from the sides of my nose out. So I like to sculpt this right here. Brightens up the inner part of my eye, contours my nose, and it's setting my eyes all at the same time. Truly incredible, groundbreaking, 2016 people, 2017. So press, 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 and kind of just move it along the bottom. Right here is where you decide how far out you want your bake to go, and this is sort of dependent on your face shape. Since I have such a circular face, I really don't like to drag mine out too far because it just sort of makes my eyes go like, err, and my face kind of go, ah. So I really only like to highlight in the middle of my face and I kind of stop it right where my wing and my eyebrow stops. I also use my baking powder to kind of clean up my eyeshadow a little bit and my wing. And then 
I kind of just fill out my triangle right here and connect it like that. I know this looks like so much, but it doesn't stay there. And like, this is good. We're doing great things right now. I also, while I'm over on this side of my face, I always like to drag whatever I have left down my smile lines because my smile lines, no matter what I do, crease. And when I do this, they don't crease. I don't really like to let it sit here for too long. I just like to do it while this has time to uh, marinate. Bring it up through the eyebrows. This will carve out the space between my brows and make my brows look more defined. And I'm also going to put the powder wherever I put my concealer. While this bakes, I don't really like to go in and do my eyebrows at this time, or I'll go in and I'll, you know, contour a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what I would do. I'm using a MAC 109, and this is the TARDIS Pro Glow. And I'm just gonna hit my cheekbones. Let's say you want it to be really cut this day. This is where you go in. This is where you see like that chin strap baking technique. And what we're going to do is draw a line from right underneath our contour to about the middle of our lip. This is a really good guide to see right here if you're in line um, for a good contour. <laughs> big powder brush this is what I use for all my powder um, all over my face and I'm just gonna buff away underneath my contour <laughs> know what baking means so basically what baking means is that when you put this powder over top there's heat always radiating from your skin and always coming out from your skin so when you have this powder that you put on top of your skin and it's suffocating the skin what happens is when you radiate heat but it's actually being locked in between this layer of skin and then pretend this is powder this is your skin powder skin it's being locked in between that little space in there so actually it's cooking in there and it's making it bulletproof and it's making it sink in really, really deep into the skin and not being able to move. So literally when they say baking, it's because your skin is literally cooking and it's literally baking. So that's why they call it that, fun fact. So after this is set for however long I think it should be on my face, it varies every day. So now it's on there just for like a hot second and then so it's on there for like 15 minutes. I take this brush, this is a Sigma F35. I love this from underneath my eyes, it's like the best ever. What I like to do is I like to slightly, I meant lightly, but slightly works too. You want to, am I focused? Hello? You want to lightly sweep this powder away, but then I pounce the rest in and I really press that into my skin and make sure that it's locked in there. And then look at that under eye. It looks flawless. If you're really feeling extra, a little extra step that you could do is go in with a highlighting powder. This is by Anastasia, it's a contour kit. I love this shade, it's like sparkly but it's not like disgusting for underneath the eyes. And then I just like to go over this right here and kind of bring it down pretty much just where I did the bake. And this, oops, wrong one. This uh, just sort of like makes it crazy highlighted. This is much more of like a highlighting step, but it's just a way to finish off the bake if you feel like doing it. So I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more simpler how-to videos like this. So I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys next time. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.